Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil. Today is a massively exciting day for me. It's the first time ever that there has been an ESP of any type on the channel and I'm super, super excited about it. Huge thanks to ESP here in the UK for sending this guitar out for me to show you guys. Um, I guess it's an exclusive. Okay guys, so some of you may know, some of you may not know that I'm quite a massive fan of ESP guitars. Just because they've not been on the channel doesn't mean that I don't appreciate them and I don't love them. Uh, my rhythm guitarist in my old band used to play the EC1000s, uh, the LTD ones, but he also had an ESP uh, Eclipse. And basically, uh, you know, with a blindfold on, I wouldn't have known which was the EC1000 and which was the Eclipse, you know, I wouldn't have known which was the LTD and which was the ESP, basically is what I'm saying. It was that good. Now, quite a while ago, I did have an EC256, okay, and I absolutely loved it. In fact, I thought that that 256 was a 401 until I actually paid more attention to it and found out what the hell it was. And it was a brilliant guitar. The 256s and basically any LTD are renowned for quality, build quality and quality control and to be honest like i said the high-end uh, ltds which are around a thousand pound marks you know the ec 1000s um and and obviously the m and the mhs and all the other ones as well that when you get around that mark with the sp for me it's hard to tell the difference between that and a real esp and i really mean that um even weight wise it's it's pretty hard to tell you know, nowadays you might be able to tell with the stainless steel frets obviously between an EC1000 and say a 401. But what ESP are good at is making guitars that are affordable, that are great playing machines. And that is why, in my opinion, the ESP are one of, if not the most popular metal brand um, and go-to brand for guitarists. Anyway, today in here we have an EC256. I'm hoping to get more ESPs on the channel, or should I say more LTDs. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna get it open. I think I know what color um, this guitar is because they asked me, which is really nice of them, especially since it's my first time working with them. I mean, this has been going on quite a while. I've been talking to them for like 12 months or so, trying to get a guitar, but obviously they've got to wait till they've got the demo guitars in stock and everything. But um, this one should be a black EC256 inside this box. It's a massive box and it feels like it's double boxed, which is always good. It's always nice when guitars are double boxed. I always think that a manufacturer cares about their instruments when they double box them. I've said this about other guitars that I've unboxed on the channel. When they just come in one flimsy box, I always think, do you guys care about that guitar and what happens to it and how it arrives to me uh, to, to review, so to speak? Right, I need to stand up, so uh, give me a minute. Right, so that's the first box out of the way. Let's just read the top of the box because it's, it will tell me exactly what it is. Um, so this is an ESP LTD, it will be uh, EC256BLK. Now there are two black uh, ECs in the 256 range. One is satin black, which looks pretty cool actually. And the other one is gloss black with gold hardware, which looks, you know, it's a classic, isn't it? You can't go wrong with gloss black and uh, gold hardware. This one, I'm not sure whether it's the black, black one, the satin black one, or the one with gold hardware. So first of all, I just want to say as well, this guitar retails, well, I've seen them at 499, depending on which one you go for. There's a trans uh, top version as well, a quilted top type of look veneer on the top there. And that one, a touch more but the ones that are in gloss black and flat black or satin black those seem to be you seem to be able to pick them up around 429 which is pretty good uh that's good value for money in my opinion so let's uh check out this guitar see which one it is oh wow i'm so happy um right so the reason i'm so happy is because this is the one that i asked for and you don't always get what you ask for you know who's going to argue with the uh, esp 
you know, I'm not going to argue with them. If uh, they send a different one from what I requested, but it was super nice of the guys to actually send out um, a guitar in the first place, but also ask what colour I'd prefer, you know. So I gave them a couple of options, you know, and, and this one was in stock and it's great. So, uh, yeah, this is the, the big reveal. Whoops. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's quite light, actually. Come on, baby. Out you come. Come on. Wow. Well, that looks stunning. It really does. I mean, I hope it shows up on camera. Some guitars don't always come across on camera like they look in, in, in real life, so to speak, but um, it's coil split there, which is pretty cool. Uh, these will be ESP or should I say LTD's own pickups um, in there. I think you have to go to the 401 price bracket, the 401 level before um, you get anything like EMGs or anything like that. But the neck is really nice on this. Actually, I've always got on really well with um, ESP necks for some reason. It's like they've got some girth to them, but they're not uncomfortable or anything. They're still quite fast, um, which is really cool. So this guitar is made in Indonesia. So it's not made in China. That's for, for nowadays, you know, for 2023. That's pretty awesome to have a guitar that's Indonesian made at 429 at shop price is pretty awesome. I probably should mention that if you guys want to buy anything like this guitar or anything else you see on the channel, please use the Anderton's link down below in the description. Go through that link and it helps support the channel, anything you buy at all from uh, there. So uh, this guitar is flawless for a, such a, a low price guitar. I mean, I'm used to guitars that are retailing around, you know, a thousand pound, either just under a thousand pounds or just over. And this is flawless. The binding is absolutely bang on all the way around. I will be doing close-ups, uh, you know, get subscribed and everything, get over on my TikTok as well. It'll be extreme close-ups of the guitar so you can see how well made it is. But that just looks absolutely awesome. It really does look great. I mean, you just wouldn't know that that was like a, a 400 and odd pound guitar. You just wouldn't know. I don't think you would. The headstock, you can see how tidy everything is. I'll try and get close there. The headstock. The gold tuners really set it off nice. Obviously, it's got that classic single cut look, which I love. Um, the other thing which is really cool about this guitar, what I read up on just a couple of days ago before it arrived, is it's mahogany body and mahogany neck. Okay, now a lot of guitars that you see single cuts and stuff like that that should be mahogany body and neck, in my opinion, because that's the classic. Uh, the classic combination. Uh, when you see lower priced budget models, they often swap the mahogany for poplar or something like that. It's very rare that you actually get mahogany, and this is mahogany. Um, it's pretty lightweight. I wonder if it's chambered. Not sure. But even the inlays, let's look at the inlays close up. Even the inlays, I'm shaking from the gym, but those inlays are, are pretty bang on. And it looks great. That's a Jatoba. Is it Jatoba? Is that how you say it? Uh, fingerboard, I believe, by the look of it. A bit lighter than rosewood. It's nice. Love this here. What's on all the ECs? If you want the, you know, this blocky old school, I call it, um, heel down below here. If you want an EC that's totally cut away and it gradually tapers into the body, then you have to go up to the 401 um, for that as well. But, it's not in tune, but it's not too far, to be fair, I could tweak that now and get it in tune if I wanted to. Um, yeah, really cool, huge thanks to LTD, I should say ESP UK for sending this out. The action on this is super low, not sure what strings are on, they feel, um, might be a 946 or... 
something like that. But I don't know. I always play ECs. I've always said this. I seem faster and better at lead playing on ECs than I do on a lot of other guitars. But yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. I'll just try and uh, give you some close-ups there of the, the binding around the edge. So you can see exactly how tidy everything is. This guitar has been set up by ESP. Obviously, it's not got a locking nut on. So it will be out of tune the way I ragged it out there, to be fair. It's not done it any favours. Oh, sent me a plectrum. Courtesy plectrum, that's pretty cool. Where my tuner, man? So it's a really loud guitar. First thing I noticed about this guitar is that it's loud. You know, like a Les Paul, not wanting to mention Les Paul, but I will do anyway. Um, you know, like a Les Paul, it's loud and very resonant and you can hear it in the room. This is the same. It's loud uh, and it resonates really well. So yeah, this is just an unboxing, guys. So I have stuff to do. I have to disappear now, but I will be doing a full-on demo and spec rundown of this guitar. And as long as they allow me to keep it, you will see much more of this on the channel. This is a loan guitar, as far as I'm aware. So it's just one to borrow and for me to show you guys. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you love the guitar. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'll see you all very, very soon.